What's good YouTube, it is your boy Lane PV here and in this video today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my photos from start to finish and my whole workflow and process on how I edit my photos. I will speed up the parts that you know I'm just retouching or whatever it may be. Second, I want to give a huge thanks to Shayla for shooting with me. This was down in Orlando. She's super dope and I've always wanted to shoot with her. What I'm going to do here first is just do the basic adjustments and um, bring it into Photoshop, retouch and everything, and then bring it back here and do the colors and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to bring out the pupils in her eyes, not the pupils, I knew I wasn't gonna say that, the irises. So I have a, a brush here that I just use for brightening uh, the irises. So I'm just gonna brush them on here like this. I'm gonna bring this up just a slight bit. I'm gonna do a brush. Just bring her eyes up like that. Um, maybe bring the shadows up just a tiny bit. Push down those highlights too. Push down the whites. Kind of give them that flatter look. And bring the blacks down too, just a tiny bit. So that's all I'm going to do in Lightroom for now. I want to keep it as kind of raw as possible and then retouch the skin and then bring it back and do the color and everything back in Lightroom. Okay, so now the photo is here in Photoshop and what we're going to do is we're simply just going to clean up the skin. So as you see, there's some stray hairs and some marks and everything like that. So we want to get rid of that. We want the skin to be nice and clean. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a new blank layer. So I'm gonna hit uh, Command Shift N and make a new blank layer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the healing brush. Now I feel like there is better ways to go about this, but I personally like using the healing brush because I feel like it's very easy to control and remove um, all this stuff. So I'm going to speed up through this Now what we're going to do is we're going to do our frequency separation layers. I do have an action for this by Jessica Cobasi. Super amazing action. I love it. Um, that makes the layers for you. Pretty much you separate the colors and the textures and you work in the colors layer, blending in the colors and everything like that while keeping the texture. So this is the form of retouching that I do use for my photos. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to make a merge visible layer. So um, I have this as a whole layer in itself because I have realized that when I start doing my uh, frequency separation, all the healing brush adjustments I just made to clean up the skin, they kinda don't match with the blending and everything thing on the frequency separation so it looks you can kind of see the marks that you healing brush on so um, I'm going to make a visible stamp layer so we're gonna hit shift option command N for a new layer and then shift option command E for a merge visible layer so as you can see um, we have this as a whole layer now so what we're going to do is we're going to play the action that makes our frequency separation layers. So it's pretty amazing. It does everything for you right there. So there is our texture layer. This is our blur layer. So that is what we're going to be working in. So the way I retouch with frequency separation is by using the mixer brush tool over here and um, 
I keep it at 1% wet and 12% flow. So this is uh, the frequency separation completely done. Uh, that's before and that is after. So next what we want to do is we want to sharpen the eyes. So the way I do it for sharpening eyes is I like to put a high pass filter, but I like to brush it in. So I don't want the whole image being sharpened up. I want it just to be the eye, uh, the pupils. Why do I keep saying the pupils, the irises, the eyelids, the eyelashes, um, the eyebrows, the hair usually go over the lips and everything like that um, and all that good stuff. So what I do is I like to make a merge visible layer. So what we're going to do is shift option command and again and shift option command E. So that's going to make the layers, but we don't want to affect the colors or anything. We just want to sharpen the photo. So we got to desaturate it. So we're just going to hit command shift U and that is going to desaturate it. So um, now what we're going to do is we are going to is overlay, I think. Yeah, overlay. So um, it's not going to look that bad for long. So we're going to go to filter other high pass. So the radius I like to use is 0.9. So it's not too overboard, not too crazy, but it definitely does have an effect on it. So hit OK. And you will see the image sharpen up just a little bit because it's only a 0.9 radius. But we don't want the full image, just those areas. So we're going to make a layer mask and we're going to invert it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come to our brush tool right here. Um, I just like to use a general um, soft round pressure size. Next, we're going to do is our tone curve and kind of contrast and everything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to adjustments and we are going to add some contrast first. So let's put this in. I like to add in about like 10 to 15. It all depends on the photo. I think this one is like 13 is a good number. Maybe bring the brightness up a little bit. Probably just one. I kind of like the moodier tones right there. Next, we're going to add a curves layer. So what we're going to do is we are going to just do our uh, normal tone curve. Um, so I like to fade the blacks. So we're going to bring the, the blacks up just a little bit here like that. Bring a point right, right here as well. Bring like another point like right, right there the center point like that that looks terrible <laughs> i don't know why i feel like the, sh the photoshop curves are just so intense i feel like could just be me though not knowing what i'm doing so before and after it's not too over the top it's not too crazy it's just right so next probably gonna make 
a little bit of an exposure adjustment here. Maybe bring it just a little bit brighter. I think that's pretty solid actually. So um, this is before the tones and this is after, and there's no color adjustments or anything like that. This is completely untouched, just basic adjustments in Lightroom. Um, so what we did was we did a healing brush and got rid of all of the marks and stray hairs in the face. And then we made the layer so when we frequency separate, it stayed this way and didn't mess with our healing brush. So this is the frequency separation right there. So that's before and that's after, as you can see, nice and smooth, blended in. I'm um, actually really happy with how that came out. And like I said, I never frequency separated really this way before. So I actually am really happy with just the raw retouch. Looks really solid. So there's that. And then we got the eye sharpen and along with the hair and everything else like that. And then we got our mood, which is the tone curve, some contrast and exposure. And then we just added uh, some, I guess, clear, I don't, I don't know, contrast to the eyes with a curves adjustment. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it back into Lightroom and then do our color grading and toning. All the changes and everything we just made are right here and every time you go back into photoshop and like save it again it will update it so i think that's really really cool so here is our file right here and now we just simply are going to tone the colors and everything like that so i'm um, not going to mess with any of these um so let's bring up the vibrance maybe a little bit and then bring down the saturation as well just like that and then we're going to start just messing with the colors just That's before the toning and that is afterwards. So I kind of made the pants teal, kind of made her a little bit more um, tanner and kind of made that red a little bit more red. But as you can see, since I bumped the saturation up in the blue, it kind of started to bleed through here in the eyes. Um, and the whites of the eyes should be white, you know, no matter what. And since they are white, they usually get affected by blue pretty easily. So I'm just gonna come in here with an adjustment brush and simply just gonna desaturate it. like that and how that looks. I might even add in just a little bit of a dodge brush right here. Looking good. I'm going to uh, come up and crop it. So. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this over just here just a little bit so she's nice and center in the frame. I like my subjects to be center in the frame. I don't like them to be off to the side or anything like that. Just do a little bit like that. And then we're gonna crop four by five because Instagram crop is four by five. So what we're gonna do is it's right here, four by five, and we're going to select our crop. We're gonna like it like right about here. I, I kind of like that. So this is the final image and this is what I'm going to be posting on my Instagram. It should already be posted actually by this time that you're watching this video. So go and show it some love if you like this. So this is before toning and this is after toning. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my workflow. Now, huge thank you and shout out to Shayla for letting me shoot with her when I was down in Florida. She's super awesome and I've been wanting to work with her for so long. So this is uh, how the image came out. No touch up at all. And this is after. So I hope you guys liked this and enjoyed this video and it was really fun to make. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll catch you in the guys in the next one later.